So I kind of wanted to tell you guys about my experiences as a freelance worker. As you may know, I do both photography slash videography freelance work. And on the other hand, I do Muay Thai, kickboxing, boxing, self-defense, freelance work on my own as well. And so I've been doing um, kickboxing and, and all that kind that realm of freelance work for probably, you know, uh, like three years now. And I've been doing uh, photography and videography work monetarily wise, literally for like the last like couple of months. And I've only been doing camera work for like the last year. I literally just hit a year like this month of this past month. And so my experiences, let's start with, let's start with the baseline. My experiences as a freelance um, worker in general is is you have to be consistent you have to know how to be your own boss you have to have a certain confidence in yourself because you're going to hit lows you're going to hit, you're going to hit highs and within the realm of highs and lows you have to stay at a certain energy level because you have to keep a certain consistency Without it, let's say it's easy to be consistent when you're at a high, right? When you're when everything is going well, you're killing it. It's easy to to be consistent, but those moments when you're at your low, that's when it's hard to be consistent, and that's when you're really tested as a freelance, uh, whatever you are, or or even as an entrepreneur. They do have similarities, and so ever since the quarantine has hit. Uh, it's been a bit, it's definitely been a bit difficult, you know, because of social distancing, um, especially when it comes to, to training people. It was almost nullified, like gone, vanished, poof. Like it went from having somewhere of 15 clients on a regular rotation um, in February to having zero by the end of March. And so um, that was an extreme low because I was having an extreme high and it hit and then I hit extreme low and then I had to kind of recreate myself as a freelance person, as a person who has an entrepreneurial mind. I switched over to videography and photography heavy and my experiences with that, honestly, and I go back to being an, an introvert. I'm a very, very heavy introvert kind of person I would consider myself and so when I I have to put myself out there. You have to constantly advertise yourself. And that's not always an easy thing. That's not always an easy process because you have to be confident. You have to be confident in the the product that you're selling, the service that you're selling. And if you're not, then the customer, the client, they feel that. And so um, there's a lot of things that go into it because you have to be everything. You have to do everything all the money all of the all of the, the expenses you know the losses that's all on you and so that is a, a heavy part of what a, a part of being a freelance person is or or being in the entrepreneurial field is that everything is on you you know you don't have a boss to call to and say hey you messed up no you messed up you know and and so you have to develop a mindset of everything that happens is on me and with that comes a massive amount of pressure but it also should put a, a fire under your ass for sure and the highs again nobody is nobody's the middleman nobody is is telling you how to how to how to do your work or or do your your business in a sense of course there's a demand that you should demand of yourself and that should be a very high standard because everything you do, and this isn't anything, is a reflection of you. Your actions are your only belongings. That's a, a, an old Buddhist quote, and it stands very true. And so, but, but back to what I was saying, there's no middleman. There's no, there's no person who, who cuts your check or, 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 or runs through it and takes a percentage out or anything like that. It's all you. That's all your work. And that's a, a beautiful thing when when you've created a service, when you created a product, and people actually benefit from it. And that's that's one of the most beautiful feelings, honestly, you know. If I if I 
if I've created something, you know, like a nutritional guide, or if I've created a, a, a set of pictures for, for a couple or for a client, and they've really benefited from it, that that right there is 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 it's insurmountable. I can't even explain it how it makes you feel. Um, and so that's a huge plus. But yeah, I'd say to wrap it all in a bundle, it's you have to be consistent, you have to be confident, be creative as well. It's like all C's there, isn't it? And to be creative is is extremely, extremely important because Especially if you're in a field like photography or videography, nine times out of ten, that's a very saturated field. You're probably going to have some sort of competition around you. I know freelance work for photography and videography is, is very common. And so ways to set yourself aside from the others is to be confident but creative in your approach. What makes you different? What makes you unique? It's very easy for us to compare ourselves to other artists, other creators, and it's so vast. It's, there's so much out there, um, and that can take away from what you're doing. And I'd say my last point is just invest in yourself, you guys. The money that you make from your freelance work, it's extremely important that you invest back into whatever you're doing, and that goes for anybody who does anything for themselves. You've got to invest back into what you're doing. That's how you survive. That's how you grow. That's how you expand. Um, with with without it, that it can't breathe. You know they they say that a business is an entity in itself, and it almost is. You have to feed it. You have to constantly be feeding it, or it will die. And that's with anything that that you feed, whether it be your, your video work or your photography work or whatever you're doing, whatever your craft is. You've got to put something back into it take care of it um as if it's alive so yeah invest you guys invest back into yourself invest back into whatever you're doing that is an extremely extremely important important part i cannot highlight that enough and so um yeah i've got nothing else for you guys i hope this video helps anybody who's in that field um it's it's not an easy thing to do it's extremely fun it's extremely creative if you allow it to be there's a lot of perks to it but it's not easy um but nothing worth having is is easy it doesn't come easy so that's all i've got for you guys peace